Good morning, Pisciados. Good morning. I hope you guys had a good night's sleep. I hope you woke up today feeling happy, safe, and peaceful. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, and gave donations. All right, Piscianos, happy Saturday. Let's see what we got going on for today. I'm going to pull one of these. These are by Maruka X. We also got the Two of Cups there at the bottom of the deck. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and higher beings, please help me with this message today for my beautiful Pisces people, my Piscianos. What messages do we have for Pisces? We got teas. You can suck people in without them even knowing. You showcase your sexuality, but, but only few get to get a chance to play with you, making you a master in teasing. You don't mean to tease, you know, like I feel it. You you don't mean it. It's just, I think when people see you smile, I just saw a smile and I see the eyes too, Pisces, and it, it's like automatically they think you're flirting with them. You're being kind. They think you're flirting with them. It's just your spirit. It's just your soul. You may say hi to a person. They think you want more, you know, like it's just, that's how I'm getting you. You, um, you radiate kindness and sometimes people think it's more than that. So I think this is a time where you guys are, um, you're going to notice more eyes on you, uh, more people who, I kind of feel you getting pulled in different directions and there's, no, and I know how you guys are. You guys, you only give out a certain amount of energy and I just feel like a lot of people are going to want your time your energy and they're also going to get a little bit jealous and combative when other people um, are paying attention to you or try to I you know what I feel like let's say you're in a relationship this person may see somebody else try to flirt with you it could be a co-worker it could be just someone on the street it could you know, they're going to see it and they're going to become a little jealous and a little bit combative is what I'm getting here, Pisces. Like, it's like they don't want nobody else to talk to you. So they're going to dead the situation very quickly. That's what I'm getting there. Like, they don't even want you talking to anybody. They don't even want the chance that this other person can take your time away from them. Doesn't just have to be sexual, but... Because I, I do feel this on a, a work level, family level, you know. But yes, for the majority of you, it's um, who's that? Who are you talking to? That's what I'm hearing. Like, who are you talking? What it, you know? And be be mindful because that can be borderline, you know, controlling. And us Pisces are like, mm mm, mm mm, don't do that, <laughs> don't do that. Yes, they think the fish is flirty. They do sometimes, but. You're just kind. If someone speaks to you, you speak back. You know, like, I don't know. That's how I'm getting it. But let's go deeper, Pisces. Let's see what else. Spirit, tell me more. Even if you went, ooh, even if you went on a dry spell and you don't really have a lot of people, you're going to notice that. Uh, your kindness and when you do speak to them is going to go a long way. They're going to they're going to continue like let's say it's a neighbor, right? You say one thing, they're going to continue wanting to talk to you, which sometimes can be very different for a Pisces because sometimes we give the look of don't talk to me. Like I don't I don't need to be like no. Like I'm not friendly, you know? But I I feel it in a kind of like a different manner right now. But let's look at this. Magician is evil lion. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Something bit your person or will bite your person. The thought or seeing you speak to others is going to make this person angry. A lot of times when I get magician in reverse, it's like they're going to um, say things that are not of their highest good, you know, like it's just, you know, it may be petty, it may be funny, you know, it's just, it's not the kindest things to say, basically, like they speak ill. To me, they feel like they're staking their claim, like your mom, Pisces is mine. I don't know, they just don't want lines of communication. They're gonna try to dead all lines of communication with other people. That's what I'm getting here, Pisces. And they may do it in manners that are, I guess, low vibrational, petty. Yeah, it could be all those things. Let's see, King of Pentacles. This person definitely sees you as high value and high quality. They may also see that you make good money. I'm not saying that they want to be with you because of money. They may be, though, Pisces, a little bit. I don't know. They just see you as, like, flourishing in some way. Like, you have something to offer. They may also see you as this is the best girl or guy that they've ever gotten in life. So that's, that could be why they get super protective over other people that try to get your attention. They can see it, Pisces. You may not always see when people are talking to you or being kind to you because they want to sleep with you and they want to get closer to you. Not all the time. Mm -mm. You think, oh, they're just being nice to me. This person sees it. I don't know who this is in your life, but they're like, they want to sleep with you. So they got to put a stop to it. And it could be very work related with these pentacles. Like, I don't know if you, there's somebody at work that tries to communicate with you or talk to you. And um, this other person, don't know if you're dating him or there's just two separate people, needs to push this person out of the way. They can't handle you talking to someone else. They can't handle it. You know why? Because I feel like they believe this other person is better for you in some ways. So they feel insecure that they may lose you. All right, we got the Ace of Pentacles. This person may lie a little bit about your future together. Hmm. I think they're willing to say anything to keep you there. They feel very insecure to me, Pisces. They're willing to say anything to kind of keep you there. It almost feels like dangling a carrot. I'm going to go deeper because not all the way there. All right, we got the three of swords here. Oh, something about this person doesn't sit well with your spirit. That's the best way I can say that. Maybe you know they're not good enough for you. Let's go deeper, Pisces. I'm not all the way there. Spirit, tell me more. Seven of Swords. What am I hearing? They want to take you away. Somebody wants to try to steal you in some way. I know a lot of you are like, oh, I don't have anybody. Nobody's trying to steal me, Susan. Nobody likes me. Um, I don't know who this person is that doesn't want other people to talk to you. They get very annoyed when someone talks to you. And they're doing the most behind the scenes or in your face, I'm not sure to cut communications off with this person. They don't like it. Mm -hmm. 
They don't want anybody. Else. Okay. Even if this person is not with you, it's like they won't be able to handle somebody else taking you or being with you or even the thought of it. it it's like even the thought of it is like too much for them. So I got them here with this magician and the six of pentacles. I don't know if I like this person. I'll be honest. I feel like they don't offer you enough and they say a lot of uh, maybe mean things or ghetto things. I don't know. It's like they don't want you to move on with someone else, but they're not really worthy of you. They're a little, I'm not saying you're all high class Pisces. It's just, I think you acknowledge that they're a little bit trashy. That's what I'm getting. They're a little bit trashy Pisces. I think someone sees you like you don't know your value or your worth. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like, does Pisces realize just how they just how I guess just how much how much better you can do than them? They they've realized it, Pisces. 100%, they've seen it. They know that when they got with you, they bagged, they bagged you, they stole you. It was a steal. You went beneath your pedigree in some way. Like I'm trying to explain it. You went beneath your pedigree. They were not worthy, but they know they had a they got a deal. They don't believe because you're with them or because you dated them. They don't believe that you know your worth, even though they see it. They see your potential and they see your worth, but they think that you don't know yours. They sometimes see you with some type of um, confidence, and but they they wish you can have even more confidence. Like there's an, how do you explain this? Like. If only Pisces can see their potential through my eyes. They'll then know that they are limitless. And then they'll then realize that I'm a loser. That they could have did so much better than me. Maybe they're too behind me or too behind caring about me or loving me to realize that I'm not worthy of this. They'll take it. They'll take it, Pisces, and they'll defend it too. They'll defend it by any means necessary. No one's pulling you away. This was like the gift of a lifetime. The deal of a lifetime feeling. Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. I, just, I feel the carrot being dangled in order to like fight off you waking up and realizing just how much better you can do in life. It's very strange. It's like they know they're no good for you. They, they know, but they still want to try. Because you're, I guess, the best thing that's ever happened to them. But I'm in their spirit, Pisces, right now, in their minds. And they're thinking, if only Pisces was in my mind to see and feel that I, I, I'm not deserving of this. That somehow God blessed me one day and gave me something that I didn't ever think I could pull in life. If they saw how who I really am, and then if they saw themselves through through the through the eyes that I see them in, they'd be gone. They'd be gone. 
you do have confidence, Pisces, but they're right. I got to admit something. They're right. You don't see how you you do understand that you're powerful, but you're not conceited. You don't you don't. Um, and when I say conceited, it's not just a look, it's a personal look. You don't overvalue things and your life and who you become. But this person does. I wish you could see yourself through their eyes. I know you have confidence. I, I know it, but to see it through this person's eyes right now, it's like they think you're unstoppable. They think you're limitless. They think that you can have whoever and whatever it is that you want. There's no like fear They when it comes to how well off in life you can be. They really look at you almost as a superhero. Like you can do anything, you can accomplish anything. And they're pushing people away. They're very defensive and they'll say and do whatever it is they need to do to keep this. They look at you as you were, they were never supposed to get you. They were never supposed to have you because they're just not good enough. Like you, you could have did so much better. My God, Pisces, that's the way they feel. But then they settled for me. I got a steal. Mm -mm. Something doesn't sit well with you with this person. You see their flaws. They think... This to me feels like it took you some time to see this person's bad points, bad things. This ain't going to work. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm wasting my time. Am I wasting my time here? Disappointments. I feel it, Pisces. Oh, disappointed. The problem with Pisces is that we're very loyal. But um, we also love really hard. And we don't look at ourselves as the way this person or people look at us. Like, man, you could have had yourself a millionaire. Or, boy, you could have had a trophy wife. Like, This is the way they see you though, Pisces. Did they fall short? <laughs> yeah. Did it take you some time to realize it? Absolutely. Disappointments, hurts, pains. Did you deserve these things? Absolutely not. Did you date below your pedigree? Oh, I don't mean to say it like that, but it's the way it's coming out. Yes. For me, this feels like a person that you wouldn't typically go out with, but I gotta say something positive here. In some way, this person has been the person who has helped you grow the most. You've had the most growth with them. Maybe you finally started seeing yourself I don't think you would have had this amount of growth with anybody else. And I know a lot of you are like, oh, that was painful. That was terrible. But if it wasn't for, I guess, dating below your pedigree, I don't really know how to express this. Like those experiences, you would have never really elevated into the person you are today. And let me tell you something, you are very desirable. 
One of the things that make you very desirable, Pisces, is your boundaries at this time. I don't know, there's something here about your boundaries. It's making this person work a little harder or will make this person work a little ha harder at respecting you. That's what I'm getting. All right. What is the advice here? Two of Swords. Page of Cups. So Two of Swords is somebody that's just staying in their space. They're not getting involved in either side. They're not, you know, um, making any decisions. I got page of cups here. Now, this is a lot of intuitive thoughts, deep feelings. Sometimes they're a little bit crazy, sometimes a little bit out there in the box. Let me do one more out of the box. Let's do one more. Knight of Swords. This is an all over the place energy. Like there's no right direction at this time. I think you're going to see a lot of people like chickens without their like with their heads cut off is what I'm feeling like like you know that saying where it's just do you know why that happens I actually experienced it and saw it so they cut the chicken's head off and then the body still runs around it's like looking for its last bit of survival so it looks insane and it's scary and it's terrible you know it's like it makes you question why do we eat meat but you know i've been born into it so it's very difficult for me but um it's their last fight it may look crazy it may be crude it may be all over the place you may stare at like, what is this mother effer doing? What's wrong with you? Control yourself. Get a hold of yourself, man. But it's because they feel that lifeline dwindling. So it's like their last desperation or desperate attempt is basically what I'm feeling. So you may see somebody do some doing the most to save this or make sure they're still even able to communicate with you at some point. It's a desperate move for a desperate person is the feeling. Oh, let's do career and money. Sorry. Should I do it with a different deck? No, we'll stick with this one. Queen of Pentacles, Lovers, Eight of Pentacles. Let's see, let's see. Work, overworking, the love. You want something from work. There's something that you want from work. You've been grinding. You've been working for it. That's that Eight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is like, you know, there's still a need or there's a want. There's like a getting something. If she was upright, it's like she already has something. But here it's like, I'm trying to obtain this. I'm trying to get this thing. Then the, the lovers right next door is the passion or the love for it. That's in the challenge. I guess it feels like is this ever going to happen or am I going to be like this just spinning my wheels and, you know, um, like grinding forever? Like, is this it? I think it's your perspective of this situation. To me, it feels like you have a certain goal when you should be kind of enjoying the whole ride, especially if there's a love there, always go back to the passion and to the love for the thing. 
And then I think that's easier, Pisces. That's going to be easier on how you obtain this thing. You know, it's kind of like when you focus on on something so hard. It never really happens. I know it sounds weird, but it's true. It, it doesn't happen. Next thing you know, you're not focused on it and you're kind of just living in the energy of being happy and loving what you do. And the next thing you're like, huh, I hit my goal or I met my goal. That's what I'm getting there. All right, let's do the O shows. All right, see, so I'm definitely feeling some form of a, of a fight for you. I definitely feel it. I don't think you're paying attention to either one of them, I'll be honest, that strongly, but... I think somebody's gonna have a hard reality on trying to control your life. It's like too hard. They don't wanna share you, Pisces. All right, Spirit, tell me more. Sorrow. Experiencing. And postponement, three of penti, uh, three of, um, this is normally the cups. I'm sorry. It says celebration there. Okay. Sorrow, experiencing, postponement, and celebration. Someone is so scared that you're going to experience real joy, a real man, a real woman in life. So scared. There's something about you. Sometimes you're, you're scared to venture out and they love that. <laughs> they love that. Like you postpone things. So I, okay. This is a person that sees your potential. They see your limitless potential. They know you could get something better in life than them, than your job. Um, but they also see where you kind of hinder yourself. They pay attention to you, Pisces. They do. They have more belief in you sometimes, but somehow they kind of say, well, that kind of works in my benefit because Pisces won't go out there and conquer the world. And then they'll stay with me. Thank you, train. They have a feeling that if you go out there and conquer the world, I don't know what that means, you're going to have so much fun and you're going to forget about them. And then you'll never go back. Because once you see that you could pull something better and do something better and have some things that are better than them, that's it. It's done. This whole trying to dangle carrots in front of you is going to be exposed kind of like, okay, well, it's not good enough. Like I waited for that. That didn't work. And I kind of do see that happening for you with that three, with that celebration, the moralities. Let me see morality reverse. Let me tell you something about you, Pisces. You're not a cheater. Three, three is the energy of a third party. But I feel at some point in your life, you're going to be, I'm hearing, let the games begin. Let this person compete. I don't want this person to feel comfortable. Why should they feel comfortable? The winner is the winner. Now, some people may say, but Susan, that's not morally right. And it's like, at some point, Pisces, you need to wake up to stop being loyal to people who are dangling carrots in front of you and who don't have enough belief in themselves that they could be that person for you, that they actually make those changes and do those things for you. So if somebody else comes into the picture and shows you that they also have a, a dog in this fight and they want to compete and they want to show you a, or make you experience something else in life, let the games begin. Maybe that'll motivate your person. No, Pisces isn't just going to sit here and be loyal.
Pisces doesn't belong to anyone. I just heard, you, you see a ring on my finger? Let the games begin, Pisces. All right, I hope you like the reading. Please like and subscribe, and thank you.